Three-time Oscar nominee Joaquin Phoenix leads an all-star cast in the new movie from the director of Boogie Nights. It's called Inherent Vice. The setting, Southern California, 1970. Joaquin plays Doc, a kind of dazed private eye whose ex comes calling. Take a look. That you, Shasta? Thinks he's hallucinating. No, just a uh, new package, I guess. I need your help, Doc. And Joaquin is here right now. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So we're just sitting here talking. It's, it's kind of hard to describe this movie. It's, 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 it's a real trip. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I always say it's a movie to be experienced, but it's very funny. Um, and it's got this great cast, um, Reese Witherspoon, Josh Brolin, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson, yeah. Lucy Del Toro, Catherine Waterston, who I think you just saw in that clip, who's wonderful. Um, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a great movie. It, it, and it's, it's a great movie, and as you say, it's very funny, even though you can't really figure it out half the time. But i got to ask you, where the mutton chops come from? <laughs> That's homegrown. That's mine. That was your uh, idea. Uh, no, no. It's. Uh, it was actually. I think the inspiration was it for it was Neil Young. Okay. Um, but yeah, they just. Um, they're, they're real. Is what I was saying. And you've worked with Paul Thomas Anderson, the director, before. Of course, he did Boogie Nights. He directed you. Uh, in the master, and I hear he creates uh, a pretty intense but but fun atmosphere on set. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure it's that in, intense. Um, uh, I mean, everyone w works very hard, but um, he creates a, a really unique environment where I think everybody feels um, focused on the same goal. Um, it's it's a really unique set, um, and I think he brings out the best in people. Well, yeah, and you see it in these performances. Now, you always have some fun with this whole idea of promoting movies and celebrity, and we're all watching Letterman last night. And I guess I have to ask you: Are congratulations really in order? Are you actually engaged? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you did, so you did it to him again? So. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> um, it just, I mean, I think like my life's so boring. And so it seemed like it was something exciting to talk about. <laughs> I'm like, I just want the audience to like me. And they really like people that are getting married. So I just, <laughs> I thought I'd say I was getting married. So you're going to bum out our audience here on GMA and tell them you're not getting married. Yet. I can get engaged again, if you'd you like. <laughs> <laughs> Any volunteers here in the audience right no now? One. No. no one. No one. She's paid. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel right. I do. I do. There we go. We, we, we've done it here on Morning Television. Well, I'm sorry. I hope you do find the love of your life. <laughs> the movie's fantastic, and Heron Vice opens in limited release on Friday everywhere on January 9th.